We're gonna start in a comfortable seated position with the hands resting on the knees. And we're just gonna come into our breath, finding that stillness. And we're gonna inhale, reaching the arms up overhead, bringing palms down to heart center as we exhale. And let's do this three more times, inhaling arms up overhead and exhaling them back down. And again, inhaling, really reaching the arms up overhead and exhaling, bringing them down to heart center, pausing for a moment. And we're gonna slowly make our way into tabletop, bringing the knees in line with the hips, hands in line with the shoulders, nice strong core here. Inhaling as you drop your belly down, bringing your gaze up, and exhaling all your air out, rounding out the spine for some cat-cows. Let's do this a couple times. Dropping that belly down, bringing the gaze up. And exhaling all your air out as you round out the spine, engaging the core. And inhaling as you bring that gaze back up. And let's do it one last time, arching that back up feeling each movement as you slowly work your way through cat cow and coming to a neutral spine we're going to play with movement just doing small circles with the hips and let's reverse directions just having a little fun here warming up the body very gently coming back to neutral spine, we're going to push back into child's pose with knees separated and the forehead resting on the mat if that's in your practice. We're going to sway our forehead from side to side, kind of warming up the neck. We're going to move into a little bit of a flow, pressing up back into tabletop and pushing back into child's pose. We're going to do this a couple of times. If this is hard on your knees, you can always put a folded blanket underneath your knees for some more support. But pushing back into child's pose, breathing here, and inhaling, coming back up to tabletop. Strong arms, strong core. We're gonna curl the toes and press back into downward facing dog, letting the heart melt to the mat as you press the heels back we're going to bend into that right leg as you keep that left leg straight for a little deeper stretch and alternate to the other side kind of moving with a little flow here and if you want you can always sway your hips from side to side kind of warming up that spine and very slowly we're going to walk our feet to our hands at the top of the mat into a forward fold We're going to inhale, coming up halfway, and exhale, folding forward. Inhale, pressing to the feet, rolling up, bringing arms up overhead. Exhale, bringing hands to heart center. Coming to the top of your mat, hands at heart center, you're going to inhale, arms up overhead, and exhale, hands back down to heart center. I'm holding here, taking a breath. We're gonna bring the arms back out to the side, up and over, and exhaling. We're gonna hinge at the hips, folding forward, dropping the arms down into a forward fold. Inhaling, coming up halfway. Exhaling, folding forward. We're gonna step that left leg back into a runner's lunge and slowly lower the knee down and pressing into the hips. Inhale, reaching the arms up overhead, and exhale, bringing hands down to heart center. We're gonna lift our hands up one more time, inhaling them up, pressing into the hips, and exhale, bringing hands all the way down to the mat, pressing fingertips into the mat. We're gonna step that right leg back into a top of a push-up. Strong core here, we're not gonna be here for very long, so make it count. 
We're gonna slowly lower the knees down and move into a chaturanga into cobra. Really expanding the chest here, making sure there's no pressure on the hands. And we're gonna inhale, pressing back into all fours, curling the toes and pressing back into downward facing dog. And just letting the heart melt down to the mat, pressing the heels back, pressing into the fingertips. And we're gonna slowly walk the feet to meet the hands. Just a nice, slow walk. Not in any hurry, not in any rush. And coming into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward. Pressing into the feet, slight bend in the knees. We're gonna stand up, inhale, arms up overhead. And exhale, hands down to heart center. Again, inhale, reaching arms up overhead. And bringing hands down to heart center. Exhale, hinging at the hips. And bringing hands down to the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, folding back down. Bringing hands to the mat, we're gonna step that right leg back, slowly lowering that right knee down to the mat. Coming up, we're gonna press the hips. Inhaling, arms up overhead. And exhale, bringing hands down to heart center. We're gonna do that again. Inhaling, arms up overhead. Really feeling the deep stretch in the hips. We're gonna exhale, bringing hands down to heart center and bringing them down to the mat. Bringing that right knee up, we're gonna press that left leg back into the top of a push-up. Strong core here. Slowly lowering the knees down and moving into a chaturanga and moving into cobra. Really opening up the chest here. Checking to see if you have any pressure on the hands. and preparing to move, coming into tabletop and curling the toes, pressing back into downward facing dog. We're gonna do a slow, slow walk to meet the feet with the hands in a forward fold. And coming to a forward fold, we're gonna halfway lift, inhale, and exhale, folding back down, pressing to the feet, slight bend in the knee. We're gonna inhale all the way up and exhale, bringing hands to heart center. Again, inhale all the way up, bringing the arms up and exhale, hands to heart center and hinge at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold forward. We're gonna step both legs back to a top of a push up. and slowly lower the knees down and press back into child's pose. And just letting go here, just catching your breath and breathing. And inhale, coming up into hero's pose and taking a moment to reconnect to the breath. We're gonna move our hips to the left and swing our legs out in front. We're gonna move into a twist taking the right leg and placing it underneath the left and we're gonna take that left and wrap it over the right. We're gonna have a straight back here. We're gonna lift that right arm up overhead. Inhale, exhale, twisting to the left, using that knee to hook onto to get a deeper stretch. Really breathe here. Slowly coming out of the twist, we're gonna bow to the right. Inhale, coming up. And we're gonna switch sides. And once you're there, we're gonna inhale that left arm up. And exhale, hooking that elbow onto that knee as you twist and wring out the spine.
exhaling, slowly unraveling and bow to the left. We're gonna move onto our backs, hugging our knees in and we're just gonna tighten the core and slowly hinge down until your back is completely flat on the ground and exhaling your legs straight, bringing your arms to your side body, palms open and slowly close your eyes as we move into Shavasana. Slowly coming back to your breath, coming back to your body. We're gonna inhale, arms overhead. Getting one last good stretch in and turning to the right side, hugging your knees into your chest, kind of giving yourself a little thank you for doing this quick practice and using the strength of the arms to come up into a comfortable seated position. Hands resting on the knees. We're gonna inhale, bringing hands to heart center. Namaste.